Hey guys, what's up? This is Recreational420 and today is episode two of the vlog. Uh, so as you guys remember, I just said I was gonna start doing a vlog, so I'm just gonna get into the stuff that I do for this business. Um, this this will progress as it goes, but for now, this is what I'm gonna start with and see where it goes. Uh, I, yeah, that's all I'm gonna say. <laughs> all right, so as you guys remember, I was last with you guys on uh, for one of these episodes on Saturday. Um, and I just talked to you guys a little bit about what I was going to be doing and you know what, what, what this whole thing was going to be about. If you're interested, go ahead and check that video out before you get into this one. Um, outside of that, let's get right into it. So Sunday, what I did on that day was I started the day by uh, creating a um, smoke session playlist. So, and this is something that I'm going to be doing from now on every single Sunday. Um, I'm going to create a playlist with 10 different um, songs uh, all under the same genre though to kind of make it to where they like blend together uh this week's was hip-hop you guys are more than welcome to check that out it's labeled uh, smoke sesh sunday so um yeah if you guys are interested in that at all that's what i did next after i was done with that i talked to one of the guys over at washington living um, which is another youtube channel uh they're gonna be or one of the guys is going to be helping me. Uh, he's going to go record the event that I'm having on 420 over at the Pin in Spokane. Um, so he's going to be there running around, kind of taking video of the, the stage and the show, um, the people in the crowd. And then we're going to kind of put together a little after video uh, for you guys to enjoy and get to see kind of like what I'm up to and what we do. Um, and, and get a peek into the events, basically. Um, I'm not sure what all is going to be included in that video, but we're going to have some fun with it. The other thing we also discussed is they have skits. If you guys go on their page, and I'll link to their page at the bottom of this in the description, um, they have these dope skits. And as goofy and as funny as they are, like I want to start doing that. I've been wanting to do this for a while. And so it kind of worked out that like one of my other friends who introduced me to these guys, um, like he, I told him that I want to do skits. He talked about them, you know, helped me link up with them. And now they're cool with totally doing some skits. So you guys are definitely going to have some more like funny, like, you know, um, just jokes and like meme videos and stuff like that coming from me, uh, as this thing progresses with them. And then I also found out <laughs> I was going to go, uh, you guys don't know this, but occasionally you'll see me wear a necklace and it's always like a really cool little orgone piece. Um, I've learned to make these Well, my girlfriend and I learned to make these. Um, and I have literally like just bah, piles of them. <laughs> so what I was going to do was, uh, throw them up on Etsy and see how they did just for, you know, just to see how they go. Uh, I'm still going to do that, but I logged on to the Etsy account and boom, I saw that like our, uh, <laughs> our store was shut down and instantly like I just got, oh, got super negative. I was like, man, this sucks. The Etsy shut down. I can't even do anything. I was having a bad day anyway, just mentally. Um, and so, cause we'd stayed up and I, I don't do very well with little sleep. So <laughs> it was just a whole mess of things. Um, come to find out or, or actually, you know what? Then after that, uh, we made some tamales because uh, we were going to have her coworkers come over for a smoke sesh. I may include a little video of that, just a small little like, so you guys can see what a group of just a bunch of stoners in a room looks like. <laughs> um, I didn't take much video because I, I didn't ask them if I could post it or anything. So um, it'll be just a quick like five second clip if I do. Uh, but we had them over, um, they, you know, had some food, kept, hung out, and, uh, stayed up till 11, which I don't know if you guys know, but for those of you who don't, uh, I normally go to bed like 8.30, 9 o'clock, and I wake up 3, 4, 5 o'clock in the morning. Um, <laughs> so that threw my whole routine off. I'm actually struggling right now. I'm tired as, you know, as all hell. Um, and then... Uh, so that was the end of Sunday. Uh, Monday came around, or today, I guess. Um, after my girlfriend went to work, the first thing I hopped, or I did was I hopped on the computer um, because I have, so I have a little bit of a headache that I'm dealing with with uh, getting a city license. I have, um, for this business that I have the events, I, I got the LLC under the Recreational 420 name. Um, and so I had an attorney do that and when they did they applied for 
a business license in the city where my mailbox in, is in. Um, and that's a really conservative town. So my guess is like they saw the name Recreational 420 and immediately thought I was a, you know, somebody trying to be a retailer, a grower, just an I-502 company in general. Um, I got a phone call from <laughs> that city's fire department last Friday or Thursday, I can't remember specifically what day, um, telling me, hey, uh, we're just curious, this location, you know, the, your address is a little wonky. Um, and we're just curious, we're gonna have the fire department come do a tour. And as you guys can imagine, the, like I was almost shaking. I was like, why, why, why does anybody need to come do anything? Like, well, no one told me that I would have to need, that I would need any sort of inspection for this. Like in my head, I was like, I'm not selling weed. I'm not running, I'm not doing retail out of that town. I wasn't doing, I wasn't even gonna do shows in that town. I was just gonna have my address there. Um, because where I live, there isn't a uh, mailbox service for those uh, kind of like UPS. What they do is if you're going to start a business, you can get a mailbox um, at the UPS store uh, where I live. That's not an option. So <laughs> I did it where my brother is because he's there and he can go check it, you know, once or twice a week. Let me know if anything's happening. And it was just the easiest way to get there. But that town saw Recreational 420 and they were not about to have that happen. <laughs> so... Um, yeah, I, I had to deal with that. Uh, turns out, um, since I'm going to be doing all of my shows in Spokane and most of my events in Spokane, I need a. I already have a Washington State business license. Um, what I need is called a city endorsement. Now, a big majority of uh, counties and state, or not state, cities in Washington. Uh, require that you have a city endorsement just because they take a little bit of tax off of uh, your revenue which of course if you're in their city doing business it makes perfect sense it, it's you know and so uh, yeah I was gonna go and try to you know apply for that do all that um, I got on the phone with DOR which is Department of Revenue um, they walked me through um, applying for the Spokane license I almost went back and had like the attorney go and like do all of this for me it's a five minute process it's just click 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 and you're good to go <laughs> you pay your fee and you wait for your answer um so that's where i'm at i'm gonna have to run to the bank now go put money in the bank <sighs> and then go through and do all that i still have to open a bank account for the business um that requires that my brother which is my business partner is in a different town signs a document that says i'm the managing uh, i'm the managing agent and i'm allowed to open bank accounts and you know write accounts and write checks and do all that on behalf of the business um that's just a piece of paper that the bank needs from me in order to give me you know a bank account um then so i talked to etsy and they told me uh also <laughs> after i was done with this I, I got on the phone with etsy uh they let me know that the reason my account was frozen uh was simply because i owe them a dollar <laughs> so once that's taken care of here in a couple hours um, i'm gonna start putting all of these like dope ass oregon pieces um up for sale and then uh, I'm going to put up a couple of her paintings. So these things will be on Etsy as well as like a couple others that aren't around here and you guys probably haven't seen. Um, basically, I'm just trying to hustle as many different ways as I can and just see what brings in money. Uh, do I think this is going to make me a millionaire? Not by any means. But if it can give me an extra 200 bucks, guess what? That's my cell phone. Or if it can give me an extra like 150 bucks, that's my you know cable that's my phone or not my phone but like my electricity that's gas for two weeks that's my weed for you know <laughs> a month almost like it, it's just a matter of um just trying to figure out what works and what doesn't uh making those things work and just seeing what happens so that's where I'm at. Um, this is just going to continue to kind of expand and grow as it does. Uh, I'll be back with you guys on um, ooh, actually one more thing. So I do have, I'm waiting on a glass shop from Spokane to let me know if they're interested in sponsoring the event. And what that means for you guys is, uh, for those of you that live in Spokane or over the age of 18 and would like to come to that event, uh, if you do purchase a ticket, then you're going to be, uh, entered into, if this guy, if this happens, then you would be entered into a drawing for, uh, some sort of glass piece that he's going to, you know, we'll, we'll work that out, but that's what I'm working on. I'm trying to give you guys as much, like as many benefits as I can. 
Um, but yeah, anyway, <laughs> I guess those are my two days. Um, I'll be back with you guys on Wednesday. Wednesday, I may switch that Wednesday show to Thursday just because Wednesday I'm going to be back over in the, um, the, the city where my mailbox is. Uh, getting that sheet signed by my brother um, and then coming back and I'll open the bank account that day and do all that stuff and I think for now that's it um, <laughs> yeah so that's my you know the last 48 hours for me um, I still have more things to do I got a bunch of like like I said once I put the uh, money on the on the Etsy and pay that dollar that I owe I can start doing these this is gonna take me a good four five hours to put these all up um, I, I have about 50 of them um, but that's the hustle it's not always fun it's not always glamorous it's not always like exciting um, a lot of it is really boring <laughs> a lot of it is really lonely um, and yeah, like, but, but I love it and I wouldn't change it for anything else. So, uh, yeah, this was episode two. I hope you guys enjoyed that. I'll definitely be back again with you guys here in the next couple days. Um, yeah, <laughs> see you guys soon.